Alrighty, folks, we need to talk about what's going on in the high desert of California because it is that market that is the canary in the coal mine for California, just like Las Vegas is for the country, in my opinion. We're going to talk to the one and only Omar Alfaro, who's uh, active in that market. How you doing? Pretty good. What's up, Michael? What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are all doing well. All right. So after, over the last couple of weeks, we've talked about inventory rising. Um, I think we have a friendly wager about 950 active listings. I'm at, I have the under, you have the over. And I, uh, I think we need to get into what's going on because I think there's some things happening in the market that are exactly what I predicted. And most people have it most specifically around price. So what's going on in your market there? Then we'll get into withdrawals and actives and things like so that. All right. All right. I appreciate it, Michael. Thank you for our Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we always bring something new and exciting, um, you know, and just something with our, our business. You know, we're in the high desert, Victorville, Apple Valley, Hesperia, um, Atalanto, Barstow, Wrightwood, some parts of uh, not, not necessarily Big Bear, but Lucerne Valley. Um, and we've seen a trend from the beginning of uh, August, about 800 houses on the market with still some properties being sold right to the tune of a hundred, you know, 80, 80, 80, 85 on the sold side every, every week. And um, right now we are trending a little North, a little South of 900. So we're getting to that number. Now this is the crazy part is we've been seeing some withdrawals in the, eh, in the tens, twelves, fifteens, 20s, all of a sudden, over the last couple of weeks, we've gotten over 100 withdrawals. Wow. 100. Okay, and it wasn't a typo. Um, it was legitimate. So, so, so let's talk about removed. Yeah, so let's talk about withdrawals. Because again, I think those are, I think they occur for a couple of reasons, and you may know of some others. Mm -hmm. The first reason people withdraw is they have what I call wish pricing. Hey, yep. honey, let's let's throw it up for 500. If we get 500, we're good. They throw it up for two, three, four weeks. They get nothing more than four and a quarter. Crickets. They're like, crickets, right? Nothing. They're like, all right, we're done. No more open houses. We're not going to keep the house clean anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Withdraw. Right. The other one is maybe they're motivated to sell and they're going to move up. So they say so they list their home because that's the first step of being a move up buyer. And then they go shopping and then there's nothing to buy. Or if there is something to buy, they can't afford the payment. And they're like, honey, I'm sorry. We're not getting the extra bedroom. We're not going to a new school system. No, we're not buying the new home. We're out. Yep. And that's another reason you can get a withdrawal. And, you know, and I'm right there with you because if you can't move into something else, um, by selling your property and you're going to start looking at your two, three, sub five, sub four and a half percent interest rate and say, why am I moving? Why am I going to go and why make move a lateral now? move? Right, yeah. right. Yeah. A lateral I mean, do the math. Move, not even upgrade do the math. or downgrade. No. Yeah. I mean, there are people, I mean, let's just, let's just play this out. There are people that would love to downgrade that can't. Let me get this right. You're asking me to get a smaller home, significantly smaller home, but my payment goes up. What? Are you kidding me? That's why move. Why, wait. It, it, that that would be it. Like not less. And this is the thing. They're not even upgrading area. No. Oh. They're just upgrading house. If you upgrade area and your payment's a little bigger and you're going you're going to go smaller. Like if you're going to go down to the beach or close to it, then yeah, like you just traded a okay area to a phenomenal area then yeah you're gonna pay more but this ain't even the case and i no. know and i know of this because we've had like three or four of them withdrawn because we were in escrow by then buying another property and guess what ends up happening the buyer ends up backing out of their existing home they start thinking about that other payment a little bit longer yeah. and they're like you know what why and I and I was even telling them like, listen, you want to take it off the market, take it off the market. Like, right. you got to be one hundred percent certain that you're going to sell, and then you got to be even more certain on the new payment that you're going to be receiving at a six and a half, seven percent interest rate. 
Yeah. And if they're not available and if they don't, if like what's crazy, it's always one spouse. Yeah. Likes like, the idea. Staying. The other one yeah. does not. Yeah. And I've been yeah. seeing this and it's like, shit. Now, if it's north of a hundred withdrawn, now this is crazy. Cause if I'm looking at 890 some properties for sale on the open market mm-hmm. over the last week, there was a hundred new listings that came on 111 were sold right from the previous couple yeah. weeks, three weeks, four weeks, right? They all closed within this program yeah. or the, this week. Now I'm going to say that if a hundred and some new properties came out and then 111, which is the highest solds over the last two months mm. in this window, then I have a feeling that that 111 is not going to go to 130 or 140. No, it's probably going to go back down to 80. Yeah, it's, it's going to go. Yeah, inventory let's be is clear. Gone. Well, that and you got to remember, people closing the last couple of weeks, they were in contract six weeks ago. Exactly. Before before rates jumped over seven. Uh huh. Yeah. So this this now, is what's happening is, uh, and and I called it. I know it's counterproductive, but I was like, and again, it's funny, Matt, the lumberjack, a guy I talked to before we talked. He's uh-huh. like, Michael, I think I'm wrong. I like, no, I know you're wrong, but that's okay. Thank you for admitting it. Because in his market, media below the median, there are three active listings. Wait, what? Three. He, now he has a pretty small market. Fuck. Right, right, three, right. But plenty above that, right? And I'm like, guess what's going to happen? He's like, you're right. Median price is going to go up. So median price goes up, not because housing is uh, healthy. It's going up because it's broken. Because there's nobody selling at the bottom. And there's a few people selling at the top. And that just that's how the median price works, right? If you have 10 homes sold, two of them are below the median and eight or above the median. Guess what? Median price is going up. I, yeah, there's just no flipping way, man. This it, this is an absolute um, – it's going to be a nightmare, I think, over the next couple months, two or three months, providing – like, you just gave me an idea. The, the lumberjack – he has two or three properties under the median home price. Holy cow. I'd be working in that market, obviously, but like in our market as well, you know, uh, and this is the next segment. Yeah. If we want to get into it um, yeah. or you want to start, no, let's just get into it. The, our median home price, it hit $423,000. Okay. This was in June, July of 2022. Okay. okay. That was the peak. Four, it's what was never it? never been that high. What was the four hundred and twenty three thousand five hundred? All right, so this is like let's say June of last year. Okay, yeah, it came Guess, down and, and then it dropped to three hundred and eighty k by All February right. of twenty twenty three. And remember February? That was the time we were talking about was, flippers were losing their ass because they they brutal. got into con- right? right. So you you lost ten percent. Uh huh. So where's and now, the price today? 420 it shot through the roof uh this is this is exactly what i thought was going to happen yeah the housing market's broken it's just broken and if you see the graph you know there's a steady incline from you know 2012 110 125 165 177 190,000 jumps up to 200 this is you know an 18 1920. Okay. Then in 2020, 270,000 was our median. Mm-hmm. And from there to 2022 of June, it went up to 423,000. Yeah. So that's all low interest rates, you know, just that's nuttiness. all of the above. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now that we are at 420, guess what ends up happening? Our median home price obviously increased, but so did our ability to go flip some houses. Yeah. Because it's, now it's just wild. Yeah. You, you buy the right product. The market is starving, starving, starving for, yeah. for quality below the median homes, starving. And right now you can hopefully make a killing because I'll be honest, properties, um, in our market right now, and I'm just going to give you an idea real quick, uh, Michael. Um, we're going to go 100,000 to 450,000 bucks. 
Okay. Okay. Just well, to give you like an four, idea. Let's like go. Let's go. Let's stay below the median. Let's go four and a quarter. Four and a quarter to four and a quarter. A hundred to four and a quarter. There is five hundred houses for sale. Now that's what kind of is that? Just single family townhouse condos? Is that include mobile? That homes? is going to. I'm going to remove townhomes. I'm going to remove multifamily. I'm going to remove condos, lots, apartments, and I'm going to leave manufactured homes. It drops houses in manufactured homes. 236 properties for sale under the median home price. Now, drop manufactured homes because I have no idea what percentage that is in your market. It dropped it to 194. So 194, 194 properties. Now, if you were had to guess, what percent of those 194 homes would pass FHA inspections? Um, I would probably say... Half? You know what? I'd say half because this is the other thing. Uh, let me increase this from 200 to 425. Yeah, because otherwise... It's oh, it doesn't really take that much. Yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't really because there's not much for under 200K. So, okay. you know, if... And we're going to go one step further. Let's go to 300,000 to 425. Yeah, 180 houses. So yeah. now now it's okay. All right, so yeah. 180 houses. So t- about 20% of the market. Because again, you said you had about nine 900. Correct. So 20% of the market, single family homes below the median. Mm-hmm. And, it, and some percent of those are not, FHA ready, right? They're dumps. They need to be. You know what? You're right. There are some dumps for sure. Yeah. There's some nice so that... ones, but yeah, there's yeah. some dumps. Yeah. Now, since you're on the screen, do me a favor and and do single family homes four and a quarter to like 1.2. Let me see. 400 to 1.25. Damn, 500. That is why your median price is going up. Below the median, you got a buck 80. Above the median, you got 520 some odd. So what's going to happen is if you happen to be lucky and fortunate in shopping for a luxury home, go write some disrespectful offers. There's a motivated seller or two in that pile. Out of those 500, oh my God. Go get them. Go get them. And if you're going to flip, Stay below, stay below the median. That is, I that is exactly why the median price can move. It's because you can get, and, it, and it's not done yet either, man. It's mm-hmm. gonna, I, I, I bet you, another dollar mm. that our median home price exceeds our max price because we're only oh. three thousand oh, dollars away. It's, it's coming. It, 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 I mean, yeah. You think it hits four fifty, bro? So your record's four twenty three. Yeah. It's hard to say with this interest rate. Fuck, I don't know. I mean, how can it, man? I mean, it'll break 423, yeah. I'll take the, I mean, four, I mean, at some point, this hurt starts to hurt my brain. Uh Uh-huh. Rates over 7%, but median price is going up. It's just, it's just, it's just the freaking market is broken because there's nothing below the median. So this is all, this is all just magic math, but I don't know. I, I, let me say it this way, Omar. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't hit 450. No. Me neither. And you know what? Damn. We'll see. Let's just go out there and make some money. There and you go. Cre- cre- create no, some new opportunities. What, you, you, what know? you are doing is you are buying ugly, mismanaged properties that need to be torn down and you're revitalizing them. So you're creating inventory for the first time home buyers. That's what I think you're doing. Yeah, that's that's where it's at, man. Really nice ones too. So anything that was going to come out at 375, 380, guess where I'm at? I'm going to be at 400 now yeah, and an automatic 15 or 20 K. Yeah. Yes. hundred percent. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Well, Omar, if somebody wanted to buy or sell to be a part of your team, how would they do that? Guys, follow me on IG at invest with Omar or go to omaralfaro.com. Thank you, buddy.